Hey, it's Tom from Pack Hacker, and in this video, we are taking a detailed look at the Pioneer Flyfold Wallet 2.0 that I've been testing over the course of the last two weeks. If you find this video helpful, give it a like and subscribe to our channel so we can keep making more videos to help you find the best gear. Let's dive in. So depending on the colorway you choose, there's a 3PN and 10XD fabric that they use for these wallets. It's super thin, very, very durable, and it doesn't really stretch like normal leather wallets do, which I really dig. There's also RFID protection in a couple of the different colors as well. Um, normally with billfolds, I find that they're a little bit fat, but this one stays super slim. I've got 12 cards in here and a bunch of bills. I'll show you everything I have inside, but it handles it all pretty well. Um, so I do like that this material doesn't stretch. And just in case these card holders face the inside as well. So with six cards on each side, it's really, really snug. But, you know, versus having them in vertical orientation, there's less of a chance of these to slip out. So that's another reason why I don't really dig billfolds is, you know, if they're made of leather, they often stretch out. The card orientation is typically up here, so it's easier for cards to slide out. But not really the case here because it's folded in, so it's protected. And there's always like pressure against the back of the wallet which I dig. So let me show you everything I have inside here. Um, that's some of the detailing too. I'll get into this when we get into the comparison a little bit more, but it has this kind of X pattern going on. You can see there's stitching on the, uh, the corners and then it just folds out. There's a little bit of more room in the back here um, for the wallet. So it's easier to get open. It doesn't exactly, you know, these aren't, the front isn't the same height as the back. So you can kind of get in there a little bit and a Pioneer logo right here. Very simple. I think it's a big upgrade on the previous iteration. This is kind of what I was talking about. I wonder if this will happen, but you know, cards can kind of slip out relatively easily. <laughs> it just slipped into that other pocket. Um, so yeah, if these were like, the pockets were here and you put the card in that way, I think it's easier for the card to slip out. I think I've covered that now like three times. So you got it. All right, so I've just got some USD in here. That fits fine. Uh, Thai bot also fits fine in here. It doesn't pass the Japanese yen test. So these bills are a little bit too tall for the wallet. So if you're gonna be doing any traveling to Japan or any other country that has taller bills, it's not really gonna to work too well inside of this wallet. So these are um, $1,000 yen notes. Doesn't quite fit in there vertically. So that's just something to note if you are doing a lot of travel with this thing. And then yeah, with the 12 cards, you can see everything fit in there relatively well. This is all that I had inside of it minus the yen. Um, put these in here and you can actually just see really how thin that wallet gets, which I really, really, really dig. I dig how slim it is. All right, I have a couple of wallets to compare it to. I've got the Nomadic wallet, the Reform card holder, and then a Bellroy wallet as well that's relatively slim, so I just wanted to compare. And then this is the original Flyfold as well. So let's start with that. I think they cleaned it up a lot and it just feels like such a better version. I know they're both very simple wallets, but the new one feels way better than the older one. And the older one felt great too, so. Couple of things, um, the stitching here is a little bit messy on the older version. You can see they've really cleaned it up on the newer version. I like the pattern personally. It's a little less contrast. I think it looks a little more slick. Then something about the way that the fabric folds over is nice too. And then the bar tack reinforcement isn't really visible on the new version. So it's just like a much cleaner look throughout the new one, in my opinion. This one's a little bit stiffer to operate. It kind of feels like there's like a card in here. This one is a little bit softer, which I really, really dig. Um, the design is like relatively the same though. So I think they just like really clean it up. And uh, I think it folds a little bit slimmer, or at least it feels like it. And it's a little bit lighter weight, unless that's just my hands playing tricks on me, but they're about the same weight. But this one it just feels better. It feels better in the hand. You gotta pick it up to believe me. All right, and then we have the Nomadic uh, wallet. This is like an elastic. I really, really like this thing. I like this style of wallet a lot. Again, like with the billfold, they tend to get a little bit bulkier, not really the Pioneer Flyfold 2.0, um, but some of them can get bulky. So I like the little bit of a smaller real estate with that kind of a design. Uh, same with the Reform card carrier, it's, it's a little bit bigger than the Nomadic, and it is like a billfold. There's a couple of different slots for cards, um, but I just wanted to compare the sizes and the thickness in both of these next to one another. And then here's like more of a traditional leather wallet from Bellroy, which I really, really dig. But then, you know, once I start using this, this is what I was talking about with that vertical orientation um, of the pockets compared to the horizontal. 
stuff can just start sliding out over years of use. You know, if you put a bunch of cards in there and they stay, great, but if you want to pare down your carry with less cards, they're more prone to, to falling out without any maintenance or without getting a new wallet. So really dig the material here. It doesn't stretch, super durable as well. So there you have it, the Pioneer Flyfold 2.0. Thanks for keeping here at Pack Hacker, your guide to smarter travel. We'll see you in the next video.